Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This guy right here, that's Tim. And this is The Second Legacy. And thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are going to dive into New York City because it only gets worse. The bottomless pit of the destruction that Ogle has brought just is, in fact, bottomless. We are going to take it all step by step, bring you in the know. And if you guys didn't know, this is the channel where we take the two-way happenings of the day. We add a little bit of humor. We add some, some context and some analysis a fine layer of sarcasm and send you on your way. And thank you for getting here. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Tim, we've spent a lot of time in New York. Well, we're going back. Okay, let's do it. I know you said you didn't like it, but we got to. So how is this for a title of an article? And I quote, group of gun toting migrant squatters busted in Bronx basement apartment on weapons and drug charges. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Boy, that's that that's meant to jump out and grab you. They didn't say they didn't say anything about ghost guns, though. I mean, and, and assault ah. weapons and and uh, well, darn. They they do later though. Oh, they just couldn't fit it into the headline. Well, why not? It's already three lines. Why not make it six? Anyway, that's true. But there's a lot of buzzwords in it there. It is, man. When you when you see a three line uh, lead into an article like this, you know they're just stacking as many buzzwords and. And, and oh, yeah. stuff as they possibly can, you know, to try to get your attention. And of course, well, it works. Yeah. Well, like 90% <laughs> of the people don't even read the article. They just read the headline and then they, they run out and jump on Twitter and share their thoughts on the headline. <laughs> Make it, they assume that's actually, everything. That's actually true. It is true. <laughs> that's actually, that's hundred percent true. Well, the good news, Tim, there's some great news. Ghost guns does make an appearance. So you can, okay. you can not be dismayed. We get to live back in our New York vibe, but just off that title, Hokel, in light of things going on, that's not good. That that's not that's not good at all. So let's dive into a few things. And Tim, bail reform, and I can't wait to show you what happened to these criminals. Oh this boy, is, this is, it's going to make you smile ear to ear. So as we go into this, this is number two. A group of gun-toting migrant squatters were busted in a basement apartment in the Bronx, where authorities found a drug stash in a space shared with a young child. The NYPD collared the seven suspects after they were called to the home at 10 p.m. last Wednesday on a report of a man with a gun. Okay, so we've got drug stash. Children. Guns. Children. Migrants. Yeah. Children. And squatting. <laughs> I don't know how this could have gone worse early on. Well, I mean, fentanyl-laced drugs. I mean, th th that. And then, of course, you know. Man, I swear. Guys, I swear to you, he has not <laughs> read the next statement I'm Get about to here. read to you. He has not. No, it's not. It's even more elaborate than fentanyl. Wait for it. All right. Okay. It's number three. Authorities searched the apartment and found two more guns, including one ghost gun. <laughs> as well as three extended magazines, a box of ammunition, a bag of ketamine, and a bag of ketamine mixed with cocaine. I, I swear to God, you can tell the future. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, dude. It's like, this is the perfect article to get people wound oh, up and twisted around the axle. I mean, th this is it's so funny. It's, so they, they've literally touched on every hot button issue. <laughs> Every one of them. We got, Every single one We got one illegal of immigrants. We got squatting in houses. We got guns. We got ghost guns. We have drugs. We have yep. children. I mean, all we're lacking is is uh, some CP. I'm not going to say what that actually is because I know that. Yep. Nope, 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 <laughs> and maybe nope. uh, maybe some assault weapons, and, and, and we'd have a whole story here. Well, I've got I've got some bad news. There's no assault weapons. They didn't make it in. Oh. They didn't. They just they tried. No AR-15s. They get in Seriously, there. these. Nothing. Don't, haven't no. these immigrants learned anything? I know. I know, but I mean, you missed one thing, though, for the hot button. Oh. You touched on it with the immigration. It's also sanctuary cities, which is oh. keeping them here. I thought you were going to say they so were doing gotta... abortions in the house they were squatting in. Never mind. No. Oh, okay. my God. That is that. It's You are uncaring. Beep. You are. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Quack. Well, they were charged. I just, this is the part. The entire build up here gets to the payoff. This is where we're going. <laughs> well, they were charged with weapons possession and criminal possession of a controlled substance. Tim, all seven of them. <laughs> okay. Um. So as of last night, and there's an update of this morning, I'm going to show you in a second. But as of last night, here's the outcomes of what happened to these people who were caught with everything that we just described. Uh, D'Souza Velata and Al Borno, both of whom were already well known to authorities, were ordered held on bail. OK, we'll wait on that for a second. We're going to put a pin in that and come back. Villalta has an open case that dates back to August 2023 when police officials said he shot a fellow immigrant in the leg during an argument over a woman, like you do. 
Um, but it fell apart because the victim refused to cooperate. So that person's back out on the street. Al Borno, for his part, was arrested in the Bronx last September and indicted for possession of a loaded firearm. Wow. Both of these are previous gun crimes. That's weird. And a judge cut him loose without bail, even though the Bronx district attorney requested $10,000. And a third suspect, Berrios, he's wanted for retail theft and shoplifting. In Pennsylvania and New York, he was held on $25,000 bail and may be extradited to those states. The remaining suspects were released on their own recognizance or supervised release. <laughs> and they wonder why everybody's mad at that. Uh... It's just, oh, cool. it's, oh my God. Like literally they, <laughs> they're they just keeping it going. I, I thought it was pretty interesting. You did the Christopher walk in there. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. I did. Um, but yeah, so I, I didn't mean to, but now I'm in retrospect, wow. I feel you. I feel, wow. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, you need a Christopher walk. We, this, this needs more cowbell. They've literally hit every single possible talking point, and they're making the same mistakes that just recently got a New York officer killed. And exactly, it, it's 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 just mind blowing to me. Like all the stuff they break down. Like these guys, we've had them before. One was even charged with attempted murder. All this stuff, but they're all released on their own recognizance. Not one person is in trouble for any of this. Um, yeah. Wow. But I can't imagine why things are going downhill. Hashtag it's the guns. Uh, it is. It's clearly, it, the clearly guns. these people don't have problems. It has nothing to, if, no. if, if they didn't have guns, this all distills down to the fact that they had guns and the guns are talking to them and making them do these things. It's it's hashtag the guns. That's exactly <sighs> my point. I'm glad you figured out where we were going with this. I am. You jumped right to the landing pad without me putting little cookie crumbs down like Hansel and Gretel. You nailed it. Well, it's, well these people are predictable. I mean, this whole article is predictable. Yeah. This has all happened yeah, before. Well, I mean, <laughs> here comes a plot twist. Okay. Are you ready for the hey, plot twist? I'm ready. Hit this me. is the update as of this morning. What I just read you was yesterday. Okay. This is this morning. Oh, boy. The alleged gunman, Hector D'Souza Villalto, remember that guy? Mm -hmm. Was cut loose on supervised release Friday evening by Bronx criminal court judge Eugene Bowen, despite the district attorney's request that Bowen <laughs> set bail at $150,000 or $450,000 bond. So they cut him loose. The same judge released two other squatters on their own recognizance after the Friday arrangements. And the Bronx criminal court judge Lawrence Bushing let three more, Martinez, Silva, and Munoz, walk on supervised release after the respective hearings. Not a single person is in jail. But they want to tell you that having oh. a ghost gun is is the worst crime in American history. By far. And yet they caught them with a ghost gun. Oh my gosh, it's a ghost gun. Woo! And right. they're going to let them go. I mean, hopefully uh -huh. they're holding the gun against its will and they've placed a million dollar bounty on it because we can't have that gun roaming the streets anymore. We, we, That's we, very we, true. we can let you know this, it's tricky though. go, right? We can even go put them right back it in the house. Tricky. We found them in, let them squat some more, mm -hmm. but you, yeah. but you got, can't have that ghost gun. <laughs> no, but it's tricky though to, to hold guns like that, especially ghost guns because they're invisible. Yeah. They just slip right and, through the bars uh, and you can't see them. They just go right through bars. So it's, it is hard. They're working on some uh, lead lining rooms <laughs> to keep the ghost guns in. Um, but they'll probably keep that ghost gun in its case in the uh, evidentiary locker, you know, just for good keeping. Um, because that's clearly the thing that needs to be in jail. Yeah. Well, the way the New York government is run, it'll probably get resold out of a trunk somewhere. But anyway, oh, my God. That is speculation. It'll, it'll, it'll wind up missing from the evidence room. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that lack of faith in the system. And, and literally, this is in the same news cycle where we just had an officer killed yes. in the line of duty. And by felons, by felons, also on bail, also on bail, released on their own recognizance. And right in the middle of that news cycle, they do it again. And and yes. this this speaks to what Hochul was talking about when she's like, well, you know, we've made reform in, in the bail system and the justice system. This is the reform she's talking about. Exactly right. And you remember something else that she said? Dude, that was a good pull. Something else that she said where she's like, well, we left it up to the discretion of the judge and the DAs. Look at what is happening. Yeah. Yeah, there's the discretion. You get a bunch of wokies in the judicial nominees. By the way, who nominates those judicial nominees? Uh, Politician lefties. lefties. Politicians. Politician lefties. And then you've got these people being out on bail. The guys that we're talking about in question here had a seven-year-old child in a domicile that was being squatted, had illegal guns per New York City code and ghost guns. Ooh. 
and they had bags full of ketamine and ketamine laced cocaine. And they were brandishing guns around and all seven of them are out on the street. One of which all seven. Sh- already shot somebody. <laughs> They're right. all back out on the street. The, the prior year. It yeah. is mind boggling. You tell me it's the guns, Tim. I know. It's the guns. Hashtag it's the guns. It's always the guns. God. Yeah. You know, like the earthquake in, in Taiwan today? It's the guns. It, it, it's American it gun guns. owners that, that are causing yeah. all, all this chaos around the world. It, it's just... Hashtag we we got collectively guns. together and all shot at the exact same time, which which sent tectonic shifts through the planet. Yeah. That's it. You nailed it. You know, we have 20,000 gun laws that. on the books nationwide, and all we need is just one more, and we can save all the children. Just one more. Just one more. All the children. Yeah. One for all. It's easy. But to the point, though, Tim, the reason that this is so important for us to cover, and I think this is a, a really good way to tie this up, we are consistently being attacked on the Second Amendment space. For the fact that we have blood on our hands, that we support the Second Amendment, it's our fault, the gun manufacturers, everything's everyone's fault except the criminals and politicians. And then we need to talk about these types of things because it shows a direct opposite case, which is why this is an offensive thing. When we cover stuff like this, it's an offensive to attack their narrative. When we're covering like, look how they're going to screw you today, all that is is defensive. If you start covering these types of things, this is how you make a difference. Because you get to negate the entire stupidity of it's all about the guns when you can see, clearly see, holy crap, what are they doing? Right. I don't know. I just thought like I need to say that. No, it, it, it's absolutely true. And when you see these politicians get up there and, say, and and blame you, the American gun owner, who isn't a criminal, when while they're blaming you behind their back, they're doing things like justice reform. And basically what that equates to is just giving a hall pass to anybody that breaks the law. You want to go into CVS Mm -hmm. and take a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Who's going to stop you. We've decriminalized it. You want to go squat in somebody's house and have drugs and, and children and guns and and whatever, and shoot your fellow immigrants in the leg. Go ahead. It's the guns. It, it, It is all a product of the people all these problems are the product of the people that are trying to tell you you're the problem and your gun is the problem. And it drives me nutty. Well, anyway, let us know what you think about this story in the comments down below. Does this make any sense to you whatsoever? Who's to be held to account for these immigrants out there causing chaos, squatting and shooting people? Is it your gun or is it the politicians? Let us know. Thank you for watching Second Legacy. We'll talk to you guys soon.